Chicago Fire has had quite a few shocking exits over the years. Whether it's a character dying or simply moving on to other things, a lot can happen when a show has such a large cast. Midway through its 11th season on NBC, Chicago Fire has raced past 200 total episodes with no sign of slowing down. Here's a look at 10 of the most memorable exits from Chicago Fire so far. Number 10. Jimmy Nicholas played paramedic chief Evan Hawkins on the Chicago Fire cast for only 19 episodes, but he left a huge impact on the show. At first, his relationship with Violet Mikami, played by none other than Hanako Greensmith, caused a lot of drama. But they eventually found happiness together. And just as the relationship between Violet and Evan was becoming really strong, he was killed when the wall of a movie theater collapsed on him. Having gone back to help a man escape the fire that was taking place, Chief Hawkins died a hero. His heart-wrenching final scene will stick with Chicago Fire fans for a while. Number 9. Brian Otis Savinick was one of the fan favorite characters due to his humor that he brought to the show. Played by Yuri Sardarov, Otis was typically involved in hijinks at Firehouse 51, usually with his best friend Joe Cruz, played by Joe Minoso. Otis was caught in a fire during the season 7 finale when a boiler exploded at a mattress factory. And that cliffhanger hung over Chicago Fire fans during a long summer. And Otis then died on the season 8 premiere. Talk about a heartbreak. Number 8. Lieutenant Matthew Casey left Firehouse 51 during season 10 when he found out that the sons of a fallen firefighter needed a guardian. He then moved to Portland to be with them, and that move eventually brought an end to his romantic relationship with Sylvie Brett. Now behind the scenes, actor Jesse Spencer wanted to take a break and spend more time with his family, leading to the shocking character exit that is still being felt. Tying Casey's story back to his friend and co-worker from season one was a good way to wrap up his story, but it was still shocking when fans learned the news. Number seven, Gabriella Dawson was the primary female lead at Firehouse 51, and she was played by none other than Monica Raymond for 139 episodes. The main character for the first six seasons, Gabby dropped the bomb at the end of season six that she would be moving to Puerto Rico to run a crisis relief organization. Now, she had personal ties to a lot of people within the world of One Chicago, including brother Antonio Dawson, played by none other than John Seda over on Chicago PD. Gabby would come back for two more episodes and then close off her storyline with her husband, Matthew Casey. But she hasn't been on the show since season eight. Number six, firefighter Jimmy Borelli, played by none other than Stephen R. McQueen, joined the show on the season four premiere and ended up only being at Firehouse 51 for a short time. Now, during a rescue, Jimmy was badly burned and his injuries brought an end to his career. He had to leave the job on Chicago Fire in the second episode of season five after appearing in just 25 total episodes. Though he was only on the show for a small stint, Jimmy's exit still hits hard among Chicago Fire fans. Number five, Terry Reeves played Dr. Hallie Thomas during Chicago Fire season one, and her character was the fiance of Matthew Casey. In one of the first really shocking moments from Chicago Fire, Hallie was murdered when she stumbled across a drug operation that was operating in her clinic. Hallie was hit in the back of the head and the building was set on fire. That led to Casey finding her right before she died. It was such a heartbreaking way for the writers to end an eight year relationship that had been going on and I doubt Chicago Fire fans will ever forgive the writers for what they did. Number four, Leslie Shea was a paramedic for Ambulance 61 and worked closely with Gabby Dawson. Now she was also extremely close to Kelly Severide and was one of the main characters on Chicago Fire through the first two seasons. And in the season two finale, Shay and the rest of her Firehouse 51 crew were caught in a fire that was later determined arson. And while Shay and Dawson were heading in to help someone who was injured, a pipe fell down and hit Shay. She would later die of her injuries. Shay had become one of the most integral parts of the show and writers killing her off left Chicago Fire fans gasping. But losing actress Lauren German allowed the writers to take the show in a different direction. Number three, stepping into the shoes of Gabby Dawson was a tough task for the character of Emily Foster, played by none other than Annie Alonza. She did really well though, and became a good partner to Sylvie Brett for two seasons of the show. 
Now, at the end of season eight, Foster noted that she was planning to return to medical school, but it didn't hit home with many fans that Foster would never be seen on screen again. And when the show returned for season nine, it was simply revealed that Foster's character was gone. Though she was mentioned in passing a few times, the character hasn't been seen since then. Number two. For the first three seasons of Chicago Fire, Charlie Barnett played firefighter Peter Mills. The character was involved in many important episodes during that time, and he even dated Gabby Dawson for a while. The producers, however, decided that it was time to shake things up in season three, and they wrote it up for the character to leave the show in order to go help run a restaurant with his family in North Carolina. Talk about random. And number one, one of the creators of Chicago Fire and a showrunner for many years, Derek Haas, has been one of the key reasons why the drama has been so successful over these years. But recently, Haas has decided to leave One Chicago, setting his sights on new projects down the road. Now, his exit has been shocking and could lead to major changes within the show but I'm sure Chicago Fire fans will adjust. Now, it's your turn. Did we miss a memorable death in Chicago Fire or a plot twist that just didn't make sense? Let us know in the comments. And as always, like this video, share if you care, and we'll see you all at the next one.